So, Swallows, what do you got for me? I've been working on a feature about the overdevelopment and strip malling of downtown Humberville. Did you know that 15 Starbucks opened within a four block radius just last month? Can't argue with good coffee, Swallows. Yeah, well, Mrs. Freely's Coffee Shack had to close last week, and they had good coffee, too. The rents are too high, Frank. Listen, I'll be honest with you. Ass sales took a nosedive last month, and it's just that kind of honest investigative reporting that's killing us. I know rents are high. Hell, we all know rents are high. But we don't want to read about that for crying out loud. We want action. We want adventure. They want the romance. For God's sake, people read as to forget about their paltry, anonymous lives and, and lose themselves in good, wholesome fantasy. You! Yeah. What are you working on? Did you know that famed hotel heiress and party girl Barris Hellbound broke up with tennis star Andre Camelto in order to date nightclub tycoon Peter Jagamo? I didn't know that. You see what I mean? Simple romance. It draws the reader in. It says here that Barris and her sister Icky are opening a nightclub of their own as part of the new Hellbound luxury complex in downtown Hummerville. A little help from their excessively wealthy father, of course. <laughs> they each have a monthly allowance of $300,000. Can you imagine having that much money? I wonder what I would do with that much money. Okay, first I would buy every single Electra Elf action figure ever made. I bet Electra Elf would probably go out with me if I had that much money. We could fly to San Diego and go to the Comic Con together. And then we could go to the Dragon Fest. Or, like, we could totally go to the, like, planet of the air. Wesley! That's enough. Both of you, back to work. And you, I want a good, clean story about a filthy rich celebrity with no inner life by Friday at noon. Is that clear? Got it, sir. Celebrities? I don't know any celebrities. I guess I once met Soupy Sales. Nah. Who am I kidding? I'm no gossip columnist. Well, this is downtown Hummerville. Celebrities supposedly hang out here. Maybe if I just look around.
Are you carrying on about the hellbounds again? I'm sorry, Grandpa, but I was just eating away at me! Everything will be okay. Everything will work out. You'll see. It's about time I retired anyway. You told me that you probably ended up, you know, working at the McDonald's just like all the other displaced elderly people in Homerville. And, and what about me? I don't have any computer skills. I don't, I don't have any computer skills. I, I, I don't have to become a drug dealer or be a prostitute. Oh, calm down. Calm down. You're frightening the customers. Uh, uh, sorry. Excuse me. You know, my granddaughter is a little excitable now. Now, Janie, you watch the shop. I have to go to Ginkgo's to work on my resume for Craigslist. <laughs> right. Maybe you just need a little fresh air. I'm sure your grandpa is right. Everything will be okay in the end. Maybe you can get a Hummerville councilman to help you. Maybe you won't have to move at all. Oh my God, Icky, I can't believe how much you bought. Are you sure those pants don't make my ass look big? Oh, whatever. Oh my God, look at the skank that the cat dragged out. Oh my God, it's that retard girl from the poor family. Ew, why can't she just leave the neighborhood already? Did you not get your eviction notice? It was posted right on your front door. Yeah, it's really time you and your senile boyfriend left. He's not my boyfriend, he's my grandfather! Whatever. Like that matters to you, trash. Look, here's a dollar. Go buy yourself a cardboard box, homeless person. <laughs> you called her homeless. That is so funny. She's a fat, homeless person. <laughs> you are like too mean. That is so funny. Maybe the rats will help you decorate your new box, just like Cinderella. It's really not fair to make fun of the homeless. Many of them weren't given the same opportunities in life that you had. Whatever, Four Eyes, can you see the future with those things? <laughs> you two, you just think you're so smart, don't you? You want no one and guess what? I'm not gonna go anywhere! You want no something? Spencer Drenton has been here for 160 years! And it's gonna be here for another 160 years! You wanna take over my family's business? You gonna do it over my dead body! Oh, okay, fatty. I'm real scared. I'm shaking in my Jimmy Choo's. <laughs> Come on, Icky, let's go. We've only got five hours to work out. Let's leave these losers to their work. <laughs> I'll get you! 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 Don't sweat it. They're just a couple of jerks with money. Listen, Janie, it was nice meeting you. I've got to get back to work. I'm a journalist with Ass Magazine. Here, this is my number. Call me if you need anything. Are you there, Fluffer? Okay, sweetie, you're supposed to be terrified. This is a monster, okay? Be afraid. I'm tired, I want to go home. Booby wants to go home. We've got things to do. I'm so sorry, Francois, but I cannot pretend to be afraid of a harmless five-pound rat dog. Who the hell are you calling a rat dog? I'm a chihuahua. That's a pedigree. Rats are vermin, not exactly the same thing. Oh, but you're a model. I wouldn't expect you to know the difference. She's really pissing me off, Francois. I'm also not harmless, and I'll prove it if you don't shut your stinking maw. This is ridiculous. I'm calling my agent. Well, I quit. Fluffer, are you there? Right here, dudette, working for the man. I need you to hop on your board and meet me at the Elven Lair, ASAP. No prob, see you in 10. McNerds, are you there? McNerds! Hi, Electra Elf. What's new, Sunshine? Would you mind doing a house scope search on the Hellbound Corporation? I have a feeling Hummerville might be in real danger. Sure thing. Hello. Conrad Hellbound, please. I don't care if he is in a meeting. This is his daughter, Icky. And if he's not on the phone in five fucking seconds, I'll see to it that you're working the deep fryer at Popeyes by next week. Is that clear, you fucking moron? I must. I must. 
I must decrease oh my, my bust. Oh my god, bear must... ass, will you shut the hell up? I'm trying to talk to daddy. Well, you don't expect me to fit into my new Versace halter looking like this, do you? I look like a cow. Hi, daddy. No, I'm not doing okay. Would you do something about this creature that you gave me? I asked for a teacup chihuahua, not a freaking warthog. It couldn't fit in a teacup. It couldn't even fit in a crock pot. How am I supposed to fit him into my $12,000 Louis Vuitton carrying case? No, Daddy, don't hang up on me. Daddy! <laughs> oh, my God. I swear if this thing gets any fatter, I'll take it down to Chinatown and sell it to some goddamn chink. That's right, fatty. You'll be lunch special number 39 and nobody will ever know. You are so evil, Icky. How can we not take over Homerville with your expert, devious mind on board? It shouldn't be too hard, seeing as how Daddy already owns half of the town. I can't wait to see the day when there are no more poor people in Homerville. Listen, if we're gonna go out tonight, we need to eat dinner first. Hello, service! I'm starving! Today! I'm growing old waiting here! God, where is that fucking wet back? What took you so long? I'm sorry, madam. I was in the east wing. Well, next time you might want to move a little faster, candy ass. This is not a fucking resort designed for your rest and relaxation. You're a part of the working class. The operative word there is working. That means you work. I, I apologize, madam. Go, go. You make me sick. <laughs> There you go, freak. Oh my god, look at it chew. It looks like a fucking wildebeest. Daddy said he got it from a top breeder. Well, Daddy was lying to you, Icky. He's too busy making a fortune to give a shit about us. What will page six say when they see you with that thing? Cheer up, bear ass. It's dinner time. Oh my god, this looks delicious. <laughs> I feel so fat. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. Come on, we need to get going if we're ever going to make it to the Rockefeller's benefit for the rich. And put that thing in the bathroom. I refuse to be seen in public with it. Come out the rainbow way up high if birds Fly over the rainbow. Why? Oh, why can't I? Hey, Noodle, you been there? Of course I'm here. Where else would I be? Having fun at the small dog run like other chihuahuas? Don't worry, Noodle. You don't think I like being called Jeeves, even though my name is really Jose, do you? I'm just hanging there because I know their charade will not last forever and that someday you and I will be free. But Icky and Bearass said that daddy's gonna take over Hummerville and, and that when he does, all the unfashionable dogs and people will be sent far, far away. Look, look, Mira, I brought you something. Look, eat it fast. If they catch me, I'll be fired. Go ahead, eat it. If only there was some way to thank you. Listen, I have to go, kid. But you just hang in there. I still haven't finished ironing Icky's tongue. Don't you worry about anything. Only this, 
real estate mogul Conrad Heldine has plans to buy the entirety of downtown Hummerville, including Ash Magazine and the Elite Dog Models Incorporated. He already demised the Hummerville orphanage for the blind in order to make room for a tanning salon. And he plans on destroying all of Hummerville's animal shelters in order to make room for his new chain of drive through Botox salons. Oh yeah, Botox. I read about those. This is serious. If he buys Ass Magazine, he'll turn it into a propaganda machine for the rich. And I'll be out of a job. We've got to put a stop to the madness. What about Mayor Muckrake? I wouldn't count on him. The Hellbounds gave him a $64 million campaign contribution. What do we do? Whatever you do, be careful. These girls are dangerous. Word on the street is the Hellbounds hired help sometimes goes missing. Listen, bare ass. You promised me I'd get to manage the new Hellbound nightclub four months ago. I'm tired of waiting. Maybe you should find another 20-year-old billionaire to date. Oh, sorry, there aren't any. I guess you have to wait. Yeah, and Daddy said the Spitzers are taking their eviction to court. If that trash thinks she can take Daddy to court, she's crazy. I'll see to it that she and her senile old grandfather go missing. It's not like anyone would notice. I mean... They're not even hot enough to make the evening news. <laughs> They're not even blonde. <laughs> or tan. <laughs> People won't even remember Retard Girl and her grandpa when they're sipping $70 glasses of Kettle One at the Hellbound's hot new hideaway. It's not like Daddy doesn't own the mayor's office and the police department. Where do you think I got this Coke? Eavesdropping? Is that what I pay you to do? Yeah! Where are my thongs? They were supposed to be laundered and ironed an hour ago. If I don't have my thongs here in ten minutes, you'll be on the next boat back to Mexico, wherever that is. You'll never get away with this. Electra Elf and Fluffer will get the police and have you arrested. Oh, oh, the flying elf and her talking dog. Well, I guess you believe in the tooth fairy, too. Well, here you go. Payday's coming your way. Remember to put them under your pillow tonight. Oh, it's no use. They're beating thieves, my only friend. I'm gonna die alone and unloved. A prisoner. <gasps> it's Fluffer, the famed superhero. Oh, please notice me, Fluffer. Save me from this wretched life. Fluffer, over here. Hey, Fluffer, over here. It sure is lonely up here. No one to talk to but the birds, and they're not too bright. Being a superhero is hard. <laughs> A chihuahua! I could never mistake the glorious, high-pitched, yet macho tone of my brethren. But where is it coming from? Fluffer, over here! Hey, Fluffer! Over here! Never have I seen such supernatural beauty packed into such a tiny frame. You're not too shabby yourself, mister. What's your name? Neuter. Neuter Hellbound. Nice to meet you. What was that? Oh, um, that was my stomach. Your stomach? But how could that be? You live with the Hellbounds. I think you must eat caviar every night. Try half a pea and a drop of water. 
Too much water causes bloating. That's what Icky says. You've got to help me, Fluffer! Hello? Hello! Is this Jennifer from A? Yes. Hi! you got to help me! Somebody tried to burn down Spitzer's dresses tonight! It was terrible! I, I was the only one there! And I was working late into the night! And I'm front the flame single-handedly! And let me tell you what! Not one of them dresses burned! I think I know somebody who can help you. But you've got to promise me you'll go home and get a good night's sleep tonight. It does no good to get upset. Okay, but if I see one of those hell rounds, I swear I'll tear it there. Peroxide Street tear it straight out of their empty hands. I wouldn't do it. Take care of your grandfather. He needs you right now. Oh my god. Who knew that arson could be so much fun? I still think we should have stayed to watch it burn. All those floral dresses, what a shame. We were both crazy. You could have killed this bitch. Shut the hell up or you're next. <sighs> Will you please gag him, Peter? If anybody finds out, we'll all be in serious trouble. Please. Nobody will find out. We'll take care of any possible witnesses. The Hellbound Sisters. I'd really expect you both to be a little more sophisticated. Bear ass. Isn't this the $30,000 watch Peter Jackable gave you for your birthday? It's funny. I found it at the scene of an arson. Imagine that. Sometimes it pays to read page six. Sometimes it pays to read Vogue. Spandex is a privilege, not a right. until my nails are dry, and then it's bye-bye to Electra Elf. Should I call the funeral home and order an extra large coffin for an oversized elf, and an extra small one for a meddling rodent? You know, it's never too late to start exercising. Suzanne Summers makes an excellent thigh master. Of course, this makes a great abdominal exercise, but I wouldn't lower my ankles if I were you. It could get very messy and Jeeves would hate to clean up more blood. You two she-devils will pay for this! Don't even get me started on you, you little sow. Luckily, there still may be some use for you after this is over. I hear dog tastes just like chicken if it's sautéed properly. Don't you talk to my lady like that! I don't see any ladies around here, rat boy. Now shut your stinking trap before I shut it for you. Permanently. Oh my god, will you two shut up? Bear ass, I can't take it anymore. If I wanted to listen to hideous dogs cry, I'd go back to high school. It won't be long now. Won't be long till our heroine gives in. Ooh, those are sharp. Oh, do you want some champagne to ease the pain? <laughs> you disgust me! Oh, right. Little Miss Goody Two-Shoes only drinks milk. You know what's going to be great tomorrow? The headline, Electra Elf Missing. Yeah, if they bother to print it at all. Daddy said when he buys Ask Magazine, they'll never mention Electra Elf and Fluffer again. He said everyone's sick of those two holier-than-thou do-gooders. I sure am. I can't stand reading about Miss Goody Two-Shoes' criminal-catching good citizen of Hummerville. It makes me sick! Sick, I tell you! Damn, I need a drink. Oh, looks like we're out of champagne. Service, service! I'm growing old here. Where's that new girl, Jeeves' backup? Did someone order room service? It's such a pleasure to be working for the Hellbound Corporation, especially when half of Hummerville is unemployed. What can I do for you? Champagne. 
champagne, two bottles, pronto. Come and ride ya. Pop-Tart and in your boot too. That's like so vile. It's nothing but sugar and fat. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, bear ass. Your treacherous ways didn't pay after all. I don't think your daddy can bail you out of this one. Good work, Jamie. Looks like Hummerville is safe again. Now how about that champagne? Electra, Elf, and Flumber. There ain't nobody tougher flying around the galaxy. Kicking butt with little Elf. Looking sharp in the spandex thread